So during my seven week sabbatical, I had the opportunity to spend one week at the Food Bank of Central and Eastern North Carolina. I wanted to support a cause that served a basic need. Uh, I also wanted there to be zero overhead so that all $5,000 uh, from PT could go to the food bank. I did a little bit of everything, uh, helping to unload trucks, uh, inventorying items as they came off the truck, uh, sorting through items in the warehouse so that the partner agencies could come and easily shop for food. So for example, a soup kitchen might receive food from the food bank and then they will directly provide food to the people in need. Once you're inside the food bank, you really get a sense of how much effort goes into doing what they do. Um, and that it doesn't just require people donating food or people donating money, but it also requires people donating time. We talk about giving primarily in terms of dollars, um, but you can also give your time. And I think that one thing I've learned is that I need to be better about giving my time to people that are in need. You know, one person can make a difference, but when you start adding on top of that, so many corporate sponsors and so many partners to come together, they can't just do it with one person's time or one person's money. Um, it requires everyone coming together to support the same cause. I never had to worry about having enough food on my plate as, as a child growing up. And unfortunately, not all the kids in this area can say that. One third of the people that the food bank serves are children and I don't think any child should have to go hungry. We've had three people from PT now give their time to the food bank during their sabbaticals, and that means that PT's directly supported 75,000 meals. I mean, the next person at PT that volunteers at the food bank during their sabbatical will mean that we'll have contributed to 100,000 meals. That's pretty cool.